Welcome back to the Blair Witch, Volume 1, Rustin Parr. Ah, oh, man, I thought I had dealt with all of you. Come on, we're right close to the exit. Keep running. <sighs> okay, you know... I'm not ready to go back into town. I haven't found anything yet. What do you mean you haven't found anything? We found everything. We found everything. <sighs> oh, I see. So you wanted to deliver that journal to do his to his Gaia. Oh man. Okay. Well, at least I got rid of some of the monsters on the way. <laughs> oh. And you know exactly what you have to do now, apparently. Use the unbinding ward on Kyle Brody. How did you come to that conclusion? Well, never mind. I'll pause the video, and we'll be back when we're near as Gaia. Oh. Hey, everyone! Look who came to guide us on the way! Oh, that's really helpful. I'm glad... Mm, all of these have stayed dead. It looks like one of the spectres is spectres is still up though. Mm. Okay, I'm glad they don't follow you too far. Those spectres. It'd be a nightmare with them going through the walls, and we just... Oh no! <laughs> Why? Why do you torture us so? Come on, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there! I think! Yes! Ugh, oh, relief time! Again! Well, what can this Gaia tell us? Did you find what you seek? Perhaps. I have the Witch Hunter's journal. Does this mean anything to you? It better! What's the matter? What is it? Aha! When I was a child. My grandfather drew this picture in the sand and told a story. It's the story of Bleeding Boy. Long ago, the first tribe to enter these woods found Hecatomix waiting. Hecatomix stole one of their young, and on a dark path atop Coffin Rock, he sacrificed the boy, opening the boy's belly and spilling him across the rock. Because of Hecatomix's power, the boy never dies. He bleeds ceaselessly in agonizing pain. Hecatomix drinks the boy's blood and feeds on his pain. His tribe attempted to rescue him after discovering the secrets of the Twana. Many strong warriors and mighty shaman were taken by Hecatomix. They could not free their captive son. The entire tribe vanished without a trace. Some other stories say that a warrior shaman named Othewenda did survive and left a warning at the edge of these evil woods. This Otha Wenda is mentioned in some of the literature I found in the Beckettsville Library. Yes, he is well known in many tribes. It is said that Otha Wenda's magic ward remains at the edge of this forest and can only be seen by powerful shaman. With his entire tribe destroyed, Bleeding Boy was doomed to writhe in agony atop Coffin Rock forever. But I've been to Coffin Rock. I saw no one. Bleeding Boy lives in another path. The one mentioned in this journal. Disemboweled on Coffin Rock. Oh, why didn't I notice that before? There's a label here. Mr. Brownie. I thought Mary was talking about a pet. But this teddy bear is her missing Mr. Brownie. It took I you found that long. this teddy bear at Coffin Rock, cut open as if it had been disemboweled. I saw Kyle Brody with it earlier, but now I know it originally belonged to Mary Brown. Who is this Mary Brown? Her name has been kept hidden from me. She's a ten-year-old girl from Burkittsville. Innocent. Like Bleeding Boy. Hecatomix intends to add Mary Brown to his eternal feast atop that accursed rock. Kyle plans to take Mary out to Coffin Rock and sacrifice her. I cannot guess Hecatomix's intentions. But such a thing is possible. You must find and protect Mary Brown. I'll do my best. But about this journal, is there anything useful in it? You might be able to defeat Hecatomix and free Bleeding Boy at the same time. How? Hecatomix will not fall easily into a trap. But with the proper distraction, 
he may be vulnerable. If you were to free Bleeding Boy and carry him from Coffin Rock, Hecatomix would surely follow. How do I find this Bleeding Boy? Not by walking into him. <laughs> I can make the Twana for you from what is written in this journal. What happens once I rescue Bleeding Boy? Using Bleeding Boy as a distraction, you could lead Hecatomix through another portal, trapping him in the nameless void. I haven't come across anything that alludes to such a place. How will I find the path for this void? I know not. You may not be the one meant to find it. If it is intended, the path will find you. If the path is learned, return to me at once, and I will tell you what you must do. It's not as simple as the other Twana you have used. I will teach you the proper way to use it. Go now. You must return to town and protect Mary Brown at all costs. Should she fall victim to Hecatomix, his power will increase. <laughs> well, there we go. We have our mission. Let's get out of here. You did come to a pretty sudden conclusion about, well, Kyle Brody being possessed. But, up, uh, uh, what? how did you get over there? Ah, uh, no. Okay, this time. Ah. <sighs> okay, good. Well, we are going to head back to town. I may as well pause the video since you've just... Well, you've seen the path before. And an awful long path it is. See you then, everyone. And we're going out like that, apparently. Well, thanks for taking us to town. I hope you're taking us to town. A day four. So a whole day has passed now. What? Daytime already? It took me all night to get through that forest. <laughs> Surprises. Drop some are. of this gear off. It's getting too heavy. Ugh. On the bright side, at least it, you're not doing this in summer. Right. Now I need to stop Kyle and protect Mary. Where could they be? They'll probably be together in a situation like this. So let's quick save. Hmm, I have vague memories about this part. Let's see... Suppose we may as well... check the Brody house. If not, we'll... Oh, I would like to check the diner. Oh, Miss Brody is here, Mrs. Brody. Can I talk to you at all? Oh, yeah, I can. No, I can't, apparently. Okay, fine. Bye-bye, Mrs. Brody. Yeah, before we do anything else, I want to check the diner and see if we can get that Easter egg activated. Did you hear the news uh, about Daniel Cole? No. Somebody set fire to the newspaper office. <laughs> and Horace is missing. Oh, it all just keeps spiraling downward. People are saying he was on to some big story, that maybe Daniel didn't kill the judge, and Horace had evidence to prove it. Can you believe it? Hmm. Well, enough staring at that man. Uh, let's see. Nickel, 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 nickel. Nope. No, I guess not. Okay, then. <laughs> You're doing that again? Come on. That looks like a pie you're having there. 
is something the matter, Miss Holiday? Have a seat, hun. Tell us all about it. No, thank you. No time. You know, you should make the time. Give yourself a little gift every day. Even if it's just a cup of really good coffee. <laughs> Keep looking on the bright side. I'm fine, really. Just all this madness going on. It's important that I find Mary Brown and Kyle Brody. Have any of you seen them? Sorry, Miss Holliday, they haven't been in here. No, I don't think they would. Uh, I love how you're just called Librarian instead of your actual name. I can't remember your actual name right now, I'm very sorry. Sorry, Miss Holliday, they haven't been in here. I wasn't talking to you. Ugh. All I remember about you is that you're one Horace of the nicest Jackson, people around. Horace the newspaper editor, is missing, and his office has been burnt to the ground. Did he find evidence of Cole's innocence? If that's the case, the killer is still at large. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at the... Ah, uh, yep. It's burnt out, all right. Oh, man. A good thing it didn't spread out over to the bank, or any other building with all this wood around. No good opening the door. Hmm. No. Nope. There's no reason to go there. <laughs> right. Okay, if you say so. Well, I suppose we aren't trying to gather evidence at the moment. We're just trying to protect Emily Brown. Okay, let's try the school next. Ah, we can go in. Hello. Wow, so many camera angles. Did you hear the news? Yes, I have. Oh, terrible, isn't it? I've heard you've been going into the woods. <laughs> uh, yes, I just returned from the Pa residence. Alone? I hope you realize how dangerous that is, especially now. Yes, of course. Why are the children not in school? I really need to talk to Mary Brown. It's the weekend. But I oh. do think I saw her in the playground earlier. Yes, she was here. But she left with Kyle Brody a few hours ago. I wonder if Kyle's feeling better. She is such a good soul. She prays with my husband almost every day. If anyone can help Kyle in this strange time, it's that little girl. It's very important that I speak with Mary. Do you have any idea where they went? Oh, they could be anywhere by now. You know kids. Lazy subtitles. <laughs> well, let's see. If she prays hmm. with... Mrs. Ascot claims Kyle left with Mary four hours ago. How could he possibly have gotten all the way from Rust and Pa's house to the school so quickly? What on earth am I up against? If Kyle takes Mary into the forest before I find them, Hekitemik's plan will be complete. I've got to find those two. Uh, well, as I was saying before you suddenly turned the world to night time, if she prays with Mr. Ascot, then... Aha! Mary, thank God you're safe. Hello, Miss Holliday. We were just saying a prayer for poor Mr. Gersten. Care to join us? I can't just now. Have you seen Kyle Brody? Yes, we spoke to God together. He's in the back room now. Take care of Mary, Pastor Ascot. Oh, dear. Is something wrong? I'll be back shortly. Okay, then, Kyle. Kyle! What? He knows we're on to him. Oi. What? Whoa. Nice quick exorcism there. Kyle? Are you all right? Oh, good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Not your it's fault. Right, Kyle. It's over now. It wasn't your fault. I, I couldn't stop it. I know. It was the witch, not you. I need you to be strong. 
I need your help. Can you help me? What was the witch making you do? I was telling people to do things. Like Rust and Pa? Yes. Do you know why the judge was killed? He heard Rustin's confession. The judge knew I was the one that told Rustin what to do. But then Mr. Gersten found out who killed the judge and had stuff to prove it. Why didn't he just tell the sheriff? He wanted to print the story in his newspaper first. Do you know where he is now, Kyle? Yes, I was afraid of that. No. Now you said the judge was killed because he knew what you were doing. Why does that matter? The judge found out that I've been telling another person what to do, too. Just like Rustin, he did everything I told him, no matter how bad it was. You've been telling Pastor Ascot to do things. He murdered Horace Gersten. And Mary is with him? Kyle, I want you to go right home. I don't want you to see any more bad things. Sure. Will Mary be okay? Yes, thanks to you. Oh, man. You gotta hate that feeling. Pastor Ascot! Oh, not again. <laughs> not another chase. Come on. <clears throat> I may as well save it right here. This could go horribly wrong. <clears throat> Pastor Ascot? <laughs> Heavens, dear, you startled me. Where are you going, Pastor? What's the shovel for? Hmm? Oh, this? <laughs> I found your little secret under the stairs. Mary, why don't you come here? Mary, you stay at my side. Miss Holliday, I'm doing the Lord's work. If you interfere, you're doing so on behalf of the devil. I'm going to stop the witch forever. No, you've got it the wrong way round. Come, Mary. This woman is an agent of Satan. <laughs> Oi, don't pull her along so fast. I know how powerful this shovel is. <laughs> You're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. What the... Oi! Not good. Oh my god, I'm too late. And so the world is engulfed by a bundle of darkness and sticks. That's what happens when you put down a shovel instead of, well, whacking someone over the head with it. Although it's only that shovel. It's the legendary shovel from about 300 years ago. Oh, almost 300 years. Almost. Almost. But that's enough for today, everyone. Next time, well, we'll whack Pastor Ascot over the head with a shovel. Need I say more? Bye-bye.